My friend, are you ready to get going? So, Rabbi, you said something about a big cat. A long story. I tracked it all the way into the jungle, but lost my notes. Uh, why don't I explain it on the way? First, let's retrace my steps. We head south, across the highway, and over the hills. Vamonos! Hmm. I thought big cats would avoid major highways. <laughs> Not this one, my friend. Mira. Next, I turned off-road and hit a danger sign on the way into Muleje. Welcome to Muleje! My aunt, Tia Rosa, runs a stall in the craft market. She was the one who first told me about the big cat. Now I have your help, I'm sure we'll find it. the bridge and into the jungle. We're getting close. Wait, hold up, Rami. You owe me a long story. Pardon, let me explain. I was given coordinates of where this big cat was last sighted, but the plane had mechanical problems on takeoff. I barely got it off the ground. So you dumped your cargo? Exacto! I lost everything and I never even saw the cat. But now you're here to help. And it's on the way. Por favor. This is the place! I left my car at the far end of the runway. All my stuff, including my notes, should be in the flight cases. You think you can find them too? The big cat is a car, right? I'm guessing... Jaguar? Obviously! <laughs> Sorry, did I not mention? <laughs> it's a barn find! Drop me off at my car once you've found it. Found my notes. Tia Rosa said the Jaguar was abandoned by its owner 20 years ago. I've marked out the rough location on your map. survive any crash. Uh, maybe not getting run over by a car, but I don't see you getting out to grab it. for this one.
earning a hundred thousand credits. Oh, my friend. Just some winnings I made on the street scene. was last sighted in a white barn with a brown door. Have a look around here. Finally! It's the XJR-15! Rápido y raro, and a long way from its native habitat in the UK. I wonder how it got here. My car. Drop me around here when you're ready to leave. Alex wants the biggest dirt racing program Horizon has ever seen, and we are going to give it to him. Getting close now! 
I promised you dirt roads, didn't I? Ale and I used to race buggies around here when we were teenagers. <laughs> I always won. <laughs> I hope you've grown out of your rivalry. Rivalry? My friends, in Mexico we call that family. <laughs> Azul. We're so close now. Keep going. We're deep in the heart of the jungle now, my friend. It's just us and the wildlife of La Selva. These roads are treacherous, only reached by the most capable cars. <laughs> All those that parachute down from cargo planes. <laughs> uh, yeah, those two. <laughs> oh no! We stalled! They'll be back, my friend. Big dirt racing fans. <laughs> are those... Howler monkeys? We didn't have them back in the UK. Your jungles must be very boring. <laughs> and here we are. The waterfall turned right around the corner. <laughs> Cascadas de Agua Azul. What do you think? Is the Mexican jungle good enough for Alex and the best dirt racers in the world? <laughs> it's perfect. I just hope the dirt racers are good enough for the Mexican jungle. thinking all the way through that jungle. This place would be perfect for dirt racing. Funny! <laughs> I had the same thought. Check it out. Horizon Wilds. A little festival of my own where we celebrate all things dirt racing. Oh, this is going to be good. I've started you off simple with a few events, and the drivers and fans have challenges to match. So, off you go and get dirty! Carmen is waiting. Tell her the shots of me are actually quite good.
Ash. Time for an adventure. Where should we head next? Arrived at your destination. Oh, you're the driver everyone talks about. Haley's asked for pictures of all the cars at the festival. It's called Horizon Promo, and obviously, we want action shots, fast ones. I can do fast. Let's go. For Horizon promo, you just need to take a picture of your car, but it'll look better with a little drama. Let's head into the storm and find the perfect location.
Uy, this is increíble. The photos look great. But there aren't supposed to be any statues like that near here. Perhaps it was uncovered by the storm. Yeah, that must be it. Okay, I'll get these photos to Haley. We should go treasure hunting again soon, eh? I'll call you. Drop by when you can. Okay, I'll be right there. Sharp right. Turn around when it is safe to do so.
will arrive at your destination. Hola, hola! Remember the old book I told you about? I went and dug it out of a box at my padre's place. I want to try and find something. And you need a driver. And I need a driver. Yeah, bien. Head for Las Barrancas. I'll explain on the way. So, what are we looking for? My favorite book is called El Camino de Sidney Wolverstone, about an explorer who traveled Mexico 200 years ago. In her book, she describes these Atlantis she found, giant statues. But there aren't supposed to be any of those near here. Giant statues? From an old book? <laughs> that aren't supposed to exist, yes! I've been piecing together clues from the book. Do you think you can get this car right into the river at the bottom of the Copper Canyon? <laughs> you really don't know me very well. Copper Canyon is a wonder of Mexico. There used to be six separate rivers which came together to create the landscape that we're seeing now. Four times larger than the Grand Canyon, covering 25,000 square miles. <laughs> oh, and the green color in the rock is why I got that name, Copper. Get pictures here. In the book, Lady Sydney's expedition makes camp here, but that's just a fun story. Yeah, the book talks about setting up camp on an island and finding the statue in the afternoon light. It would have been about this time of day. There it is. That's the statue. she described. Get a picture of it. That's unbelievable. That is incredible. How has no one ever found this before? Hey, amigo. According to the book, there is a statue at El Arco de Cabo San Lucas. Wolverstone said she found it at sunset, but I thought we could try an experiment. I've worked out where the book says the statue should be. We can set out and reach the area around mid-morning and see what we can find. Or the other option is we get to El Arco just as the sun sets. If you believe the story, that's when we'll find the statue.
Meet me here when you're ready to set out. We'll reach El Arco by mid-morning easily. Adventure prepped and ready for you. arrive at your destination. You have 
arrived at your destination. All right, let's get going. The sun's setting, but we have enough time to get there along the beach. I'm excited. Do you think we'll find it? To be honest, I don't know. But I'm getting the sense that there's more to Mexico than meets the eye. was also a, uh, I can't say what's the word, a botanista? A botanist, a natural historian, and a pretty decent artista. You want to talk about Las Maravillas de Mexico? Just read about your life. because they look Doltec to me, but even that isn't really clear. We know so little about the Doltecs, about the whole pre-conquest era, in fact. There are so many undiscovered sites, so much forgotten history in Mexico, so many things we don't know about the people who've lived here for thousands of years. Interesting. The design doesn't seem entirely Aztec, but it does remind me of Tlaloc, the rain god. <laughs> this is amazing. I'll work out where the next one should be and give you a call. Hmm. Where does the trail lead from here? South and inland. I'm sure of it. I'll be in touch. around when it is safe to do so. Hola, amigo. I've been reading the diary over and over. I think Lady Sydney's expedition came inland, but I no sé, no sé, it's hard to find the evidence.
hundred yards. Turn left. Okay, we'll check out El Arco de Cabo San Lucas and see if it matches the book. Let's get there fast. <laughs> you read my mind. Get some lunch and try back later in the day. Oh, hoy, I told you that was the best place to eat around here. Was I wrong? Aye, <laughs> okay. We need to get going. Can you get us to the beach before the sun sets? You mean outrun the sun? Yep, I think I can do that, even with the extra helping of Tres Leches. Right in the sun where the book said. Grab a picture of it. Right, that is freaking me out. It's right there. How did we miss it? The shadows were really deep just here earlier. Maybe we just didn't see it? But now I really want to see if we can find any more of these mysterious statues. 